how does the spirit work let's just take a moment to understand holy spirit work aje because when you start speaking of holy spirit wase ushindwa eh sasa hizo ni gani manze this is how the spirit works na bible imetupatia solution imetuambia how the holy spirit works Sheng Bible study going through the book of Matthew with me DJ Raf and atunenda straight kwa neno tulisema lazima tupitie word by word word by word sio tu just topical discussions tunapitia tucheki especially the works of Christ tulicheki sermon on the mount Christ akibonga na wase na saa hii tunacheki aki heal people and akifanya so many wonders leo tuna learn about the cost of discipleship discipleship of course being following Christ see what tunataka disciples of Christ tunataka akumfollow lakini itatukost nini to follow him yes salvation is free but ni nini tunafaa kufanya that's the question so that we disciples of Christ verse 18 of uh, Matthew chapter 8 and when Jesus saw great multitudes about him he gave a command to depart to the other side so hapa na cheki that wase walikuja wengi ikakuwa tu like eh tujitoe sasa hata yeye alikuwa na time ya kusema eh okay imetosha 19 then a certain scribe came and said to him teacher i will follow you wherever you go so ameshaambia wase ah okay acha si tuishie hivi achana na wase wa relax hapa then um see amekaa the scribe tulikuwa na cheki scribes ni kama lawyers walikuwa wanajua the law vizuri kabisa wanaambia teacher Minta kufollow Jesus akamwambia Jesus said to him foxes have holes and birds have um, birds of the air have nests but the son of man has nowhere to lay his head kwaambia wewe unataka kunifollow wewe jua foxes iko na holes zao birds of the air iko na nests mimi sina place hata ya kudoze mimi upiga tu raundi msia najua hapo aliona eh raundi tena si ati ni kujinais tunajinais hapa rada ni gani then mse mwingine akaka through another of his disciples said to him lord let me first go and bury my father then jesus said to him follow me and let the dead bury their own dead hey sasa the first time nikiangalia hii scripture nilikuwa najiuliza maze christ hapa ni kama inaka ni kama alikuwa mean unasema unataka kwenda kuzikabuda yako anakuambia acha wale wase wamededi wazike watu watu wamededi like at let the dead bury their own dead but nikakam ku understand what this meant um sisi ati alikuwa anasema mzai wake amedai anataka aende amzike zi ilikuwa that mzai wake like the father is old budake ni mzee anataka aende amzike like anataka aende a spend time na yeye in his old age until he dies so hiyo time ukisema unataka kwenda kuzika budako si ati unaenda kumzika ati saa hii amedai zi alikuwa anamaanisha Budaki of course being an old man anataka ende a maintain na yeye atulia take care of him mpaka die so people wanted to follow christ but hawakuwa wanataka ku pay the price it is the same thing that happens today that ukiambia wase manze salvation ukishakubali that is that is it uta come through and things will work out for you lakini ukianza kuambia watu eh, tuko na eh, midweek meeting Wednesday tuko na fellowship hapo alafu church manze si uingia asubuhi kwanza tunapiga prayers asubuhi before service ianze watu wanaanza kusikia eh hii kitu imeanza kuwa ngumu and then tumecheki that something that Christ alikuwa na expect of the people following him ni that usi take time usianze kufikiria oh, oh, oh just take that action that akikuita achana na everything as we'll see later on Matthew will do the same thing when aliitwa aliacha kila kitu aka follow Christ when god opens the door go through that door yes in your mind know that itaku cost itaku cost in terms of your time in terms of una need dedication kwa Christ lakini usi hesitate go through that door how does the spirit work let's just take a moment to understand Holy Spirit work aje because when you start speaking of Holy Spirit wase ushindwa eh sasa hizo ni gani manze this is how the spirit works na bible imetupatia solution imetuambia how the holy spirit works in John chapter 3 verse 8 inasema hivi the wind blows where it wishes and you hear the sound of it but do not know where it comes from and where it is going so is everyone who is born of the spirit that is how the spirit works when you unaweza kuwa tu umerelax unasikia wind 
you can't really know so hii wind imetoka Roisambu ikapitia wapi ndio imegonga hivi na niko sure inataka kwenda hivi kitengela zi you can't know how the wind is blowing when it will blow where it came from where it's going that is the work of the spirit and that means that when the wind starts blowing when the holy spirit leads you to do something we will just do it There's no promise that Holy Spirit kesho atakuambia ufanye the same thing kama umekataa kuifanya leo. There's no guarantee of that. Na illustration naweza kupatia ni ya wase wenye huitwa wind surfers. Najua hiyo si kitu yenye tumezoea sana but maybe umecheki kwa movie. What these guys do, umse yako kwa ocean na ana depend on this wind. So ah say mse yako kwa beach anasikia eh hey, mazee hiyo wind imeanza. Then anaanza ku surf. So ana depend on this wind to blow ndio I enjoy kusaf this guy can't start saying ah eh hey, naona wind leo imeanza ku blow vizuri but acha nikam next week niendelee na hii shughuli zi unaweza kuja upata the sea is very calm and no wind is blowing in our spiritual life tunaweza feel like the spirit is not moving but the question is if the spirit of god ana move na wewe how act on it Then how do you expect that at a movie at your at a move at your convenience age this is the holy spirit of the most high god and i have a question for you nini god amekuwa kikuspikia about and by that i mean nini nini umekuwa uki feel convinced in your spirit that unafaa kufanya maybe it could be even something like opening a business it could be helping someone out for some it could be you know releasing a song for some inaweza kuwa ni open church for some inaweza kuwa inaweza kuwa so many different things but the wind is blowing the spirit is moving one remember it will cost you so when it it starts costing you usianze kujiuliza mbona vitu zinaenda wrong it will cost you your time it will cost you your dedication your focus on him it will cost you that much lakini just know that god please enya ku lead when you follow the spirit when you follow that leading then later on utachekiwa this was the best decision of your whole life this is shen bible study just think about those words and if you feel someone um, you know needs to hear these words mtumie link pia najua we don't say many times you know comment subscribe but it helps it really helps this channel when you subscribe when you like when you share uki hit your notification bell uh, it helps the channel grow and ina to help ya kufikia other people so we'll continue to learn about the teachings of Christ and everything that he did through the book of Matthew on the next episode of Sheng Bible study